Hi, I'm Tony Lyons, and in this video, I'm going to be giving a brief introduction to the Nuke Survival Toolkit. The Nuke Survival Toolkit is a portable tool menu for the Founders Nuke with a hand-picked selection of Nuke gizmos collected from all over the web, organized into one easy-to-install toolbar. Along with having hundreds of tools from some of the best Nuke artists in the world at your fingertips, the Nuke Survival Toolkit also seeks to answer three important questions. Where does the gizmo come from? Who made the gizmo? And what does the gizmo do? To try to answer these questions, the Nuke Survival Toolkit comes with full documentation for every tool in the menus. To bring up the documentation PDF, just click on the documentation info icon at the top of the menu. There's over 280 pages with helpful images, credits, descriptions, and external links to help you better understand each tool. To help in searching for the tool, in the beginning of the document there is an index that is laid out in the exact order that appears in the tool menu. Of course you can also press the Ctrl or Command F key for the search feature and type in the name of the tool that you're looking for. Now let me show you how to easily install this toolkit so you can start using it. There are two possible web pages to download it from if you're using GitHub. First is the release page. If you do not see this page, and instead see the main GitHub repository, just click the release tag on the right side of the page and it will load the release page. A release is a stable snapshot of the Git at a certain point of time. This is version 1.00, and if there are things like bug fixes or tool updates, there will be more version updates and new releases. To make sure you're looking at the latest release, look for the green tag on the left that says latest release. Here you can find the online Google Doc versions of the documentation, which can be pretty useful as it has higher resolution and sometimes animated GIF images, and a nice side outline navigation panel that you can click to see the different tools. The downside is, is it's a bit slower to load. There's also an option here to load the smaller PDF file documentation. You don't need to download this PDF file though, because there's already one included in the zip file. Now download the zip files from the asset dropdown at the bottom. You can get to the main git repository page from the release section by either clicking the path at the top or the code tab on the left. On the main github repository page you can browse through the folders and see the contents of the whole Nuke Survival Toolkit, including the gizmo code. You could even copy and paste the code from the gizmo in the browser into Nuke. From the repository page, you can download the toolset by hitting the green code icon and selecting Download Zip. If you're savvy with GitHub, you could also clone this repository for your own use and start customizing your own Nuke Survival Toolkit. So now that we've downloaded the Nuke Survival Toolkit, let's install it. I'm going to be showing you two different ways to install the Nuke Survival Toolkit. The first is for a shared folder on the network. This would be if you are at a company or have a team of other artists who need to access the same Nuke Survival Toolkit. That way it can be managed and updated in one place and distributed to the many users. The second way is in your local user.nuke folder. This method is convenient if you just want to install it for yourself and don't need others to access the folder. In many studios or pipelines, user folders have locked permissions or are hard for others to access. You can choose whichever install method is needed in your case. First, let's take a look at the shared folder installation. First, unpack the zip file and extract the contents. Inside the folder, you'll find a Nuke Survival Toolkit folder and a README file, which you can open in any text editor. This is just written instructions on how to install, and we can use it to copy and paste the one line of code that we need. You can find the installation instructions on the repository page, in the documentation, or on the Google Doc, just in case you need help. Let's keep this readme file text open for the moment. Navigate to your user.nuke folder. The easiest way for you to do this is to go to your user folder and then enter .nuke afterwards. It's a hidden folder, so you might want to bookmark it or just remember that it's usually user slash .nuke. You can Google how to find your .nuke folder if you're having any trouble. Once you're inside your .nuke folder, either open your init.py in a text editor, or if you don't have an init.py yet, just open a blank text document and save it as an init.py into your .nuke folder. That's init.py into your .nuke folder. Going back to the installation instructions, we can go to step 4 and copy this line of code here, the one that says plugin add path. 
and we copy all the way to the end of the parentheses. Copy and paste this into your init.py text file. Good. Now we need to replace the folder inside the quotations in parentheses. Go to where you have saved your Nuke Survival Toolkit folder and copy the file path. To be clear, this is the folder next to the license and readme file. It should say just Nuke Survival Toolkit. If you want to double check, you can just see that it has the many folders inside of it, including the menu.py and init.py files. Now that we've copied the Nuke Survival Toolkit folder path, go ahead and go over to your init.py and replace the placeholder file path that's in there. Be mindful to keep the quotations and parentheses around it. Now you can save your init.py file and Nuke should load this folder on startup. Go ahead and fire up Nuke and boom, you should see a little red multi-tool icon on your toolbar. Now you have the whole Nuke Survival Toolkit ready to use. Now let's take a look at the local user.nuke installation. For this local user.nuke installation, you'll just need to copy and paste the Nuke Survival Toolkit inside of your .nuke folder. So it will live in the same folder as your init.py file. So let's copy the Nuke Survival Toolkit folder, go to our .nuke folder, and paste it there. Now copy the file path of this folder and go over to your init.py and replace the file path with the new one from your .nuke folder. There's a cool benefit to having this folder live inside your .nuke folder, which is that the init.py file is aware of where it is in the file system. So we can actually replace the whole file path up to including the user.nuke folder and just replace it with a period or a dot. That dot before is basically telling Nuke that it lives in the same folder as your init.py file. So now we should simply have dot slash nuke survival toolkit. It is now a relative path instead of a hard coded path. This can be useful if you're moving workstations a lot and need to copy the contents of your dot nuke folder to a new machine. You will not need to replace a hard coded file path, but instead just make sure the nuke survival toolkit folder lives inside your dot nuke folder and is named the same, and the init.py will detect it. We can now save the init.py file and restart nuke. As you can see, this method works just fine and we can see our Nuke Survival Toolkit in the toolbar. If at any moment you're having errors or problems, you can always open up your init.py file and put a hashtag in front of this line of code. It will now be ignored once you save and restart Nuke, and you can try to troubleshoot your problem. You can think of this as a quick way to uninstall and completely ignore the Nuke Survival Toolkit. There are many better explanations on how to add plugin paths to your init.py and Nuke, this was just a brief overview to demonstrate that it's as easy as copying and pasting a single line of code to your init.py and replacing the file path to load the Nuke Survival Toolkit folder. Hopefully it's easy enough for everyone to follow. If not, try looking at some Nuke forums or check the Founders website for how to add plugin paths to Nuke. I just want to give a huge thank you out there to all the many Nuke tool contributors who made this project possible. Without you, it would not exist. I'm always amazed that we have such a good community out there willing to share and learn. As always, any feedback is welcome. Hopefully in the future I can make some videos on how you can make your own tool menu and how to adjust and edit the Nuke Survival Toolkit to fit your workflow needs. Thank you for trying out the Nuke Survival Toolkit. I'm Tony Lyons, and I'll see you next time.